and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to pull information from one Clapier app into another. This can be done with the help of the Get Data from Other Apps block available in Clapier. Let's see how this feature works with the help of an example. Here I have created an app earlier called Product MIS. This app will maintain product information such as the type, brand, total quantity available, etc. I can also upload image of the product and have the GPS location of the store in which the product is available. I have also already made submissions in this app. As you can see here, if you are maintaining a master list, you can either input data manually from app home or in the submissions tab, you can click on the bulk upload option and then click on this blank spreadsheet link. Once you click on this link, a blank spreadsheet will get downloaded. You can then add data to your spreadsheet and you can see these fields were the ones that were there earlier in the app. Once you have added data to the spreadsheet, you can upload the file over here. Once uploaded, you will be able to view the submissions. Now I want to pull this information to another app within Clapier. So let's see how to do that. I will first go to my dashboard and then click on new app. In this new app, I will first give a name to the app called stock and then click on add section. You can give a name to this section on the right hand panel under section name. I will name it as product information. Click on save and then I will click on add field. To pull information from the product MIS app, I will click on get data from other apps. This block is very useful if you want to pull information from any app that you might have in your Clapier workplace. You can configure this block on the right hand panel here. I will first change the label of this block and name it as search product. Next we have data source app. Here you will have to select the app from which you are pulling information from. So either I can type in the app name or I can select it from the list of apps that I have here. Now you can see some more options have appeared. Under selection fields, when I click on this, you can see the different types of fields that I had in the product MIS app. So I can select a field with which I want to search information from. So I will select style number. Next we have pulled fields based on the selection. So based on the style number, I want to pull information of the product. So I can select product type, brand, total quantity, maybe user ratings, image, and store location. Now I can click on save. Once I save it, you can see all these fields have appeared that we had selected. These are all the fields that is there in the product MIS. So now let's see how this app will look like. I'll go to app home and you can see all the fields are still here and you will not be able to input anything into these fields as they will be automatically populated once I search the product. So when I click over here, you can see only the style numbers. When I go to my product MIS app, you can see the style numbers mentioned over here. So for example, if I am searching for L01, all the fields will get populated with the product information. You can also see that the images can be populated as well as the GPS location of the store along with the GPS coordinates and its address. So in this way, you can pull information from any Clapier app in your workplace. If you have other fields as well to input data, you can make a submission and view all your submissions again in the submissions tab. This feature works also in the mobile version. All you have to do is download the Clapier app either on Play Store or App Store and the moment you create your app here, you will be able to view it on the mobile app. So let's see how that looks like. Over here you can see my mobile screen with the Clapier app downloaded on it. So I will go ahead and click on the Clapier app and then click on the app that we have just created which is Stock. You can see that the app is live and ready to use. So now I can search for the product by clicking over here. So either I can type in the style numbers or I can select from the list here. And you can see that the fields have now been populated with the product information. The image also has been populated as well as the GPS location of the store. Again, you will be able to make submissions in this app as per your requirements. If you have any queries regarding the configuration of the Get Data from Other Apps block in Clapier or any other features in general, you can request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.